For the first time, analytical data reveals the deployment of Iranian anti-ballistic defense systems across the country. This process began less than six months ago and is expected to reach completion soon according to existing plans. In one documented case, satellite images indicate the deployment of a battery of a newly introduced anti-ballistic system in southern Iran. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss the details of this anti-ballistic system deployment and the overall impact of such systems on Iran's air defense capability. We'll also take a look at the development of specialized defensive weapons, particularly Iranian anti-ballistic missiles, to better understand their significance in the country's military power puzzle. It is well known that military power has two main components, offense and defense. These two are complementary, and neither is complete without the other. However, a comprehensive defense itself consists of two subcategories, active and passive defense. Within this framework, air defense is considered a central part of active defense. Due to the wide array of aerial threats, air defense includes several subsystems based on range, engagement altitude, and system capability to counter various threats such as small drones, UAVs, helicopters, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles. Although we won't delve into all types of defense systems here, it is essential to understand that this is a complex topic with many variables. Think of it like a puzzle made of many small pieces that only reveals the full picture when all pieces are properly assembled. Gradually, new pieces of Iran's air defense puzzle are being added. Based on satellite imagery, two Iranian anti-ballistic systems have been tested and deployed in Tehran and Fars province. The Bavar 373 in the capital and a version of the tactical Syed system in the strategic province of Fars near Shiraz. Our focus here is on the importance of the deployment of the tactical Syed, which has been observed operationally in satellite images for the first time. Let's look at it this way. Defense must always stay a few steps ahead of offense. This means that as newer generations of offensive weapons are developed and appear, defense systems must be upgraded accordingly either through entirely new systems or significant upgrades to older ones. While Iran's military activities are often interpreted within the context of political tensions with the United States, a broader view reveals that regional rivals are also significantly expanding their capabilities. In particular, the ballistic missile development programs in Israel, Turkey and Saudi Arabia require serious attention. This focus is evident in Iran's long-term military planning including the deployment and testing of the tactical Sayyad during recent drills and satellite images confirming its early deployment in the south. The tactical Sayyad system, also known as Armin, is one of Iran's newest defense systems developed in two generations, with the Najem 804B phased array radar and the passive Joshin phased array radar. In simple terms, this system integrates launchers, radar, and command and control on a single chassis. The trailer resembles the American X-Truck and, apart from its similar appearance, also possesses strong off-road capabilities like its American counterpart. The Armin system, combined with the new generation of Sayyad 3F missiles, can detect targets from 200 kilometers away, track them from 160 kilometers, and engage them at a range of 120 kilometers. More importantly, its anti-ballistic capability makes Armin the second Iranian operational system with such functionality, after the Bavar 373. But why are anti-ballistic systems so important? Defense cooperation with China in the 1990s marked a turning point for Turkey's ballistic missile program, reflecting Ankara's decision to overcome Western technology transfer restrictions. Although initially minor, this initiative has gained significant momentum in the last decade. The J-600T, a Turkish version of China's B-611 missile, marked the early phase of Turkey's ballistic missile development through technology transfer. This missile reportedly has a range between 150 to 250 kilometers, with a 480 kilograms warhead. Other sources mention ranges of 150 and 300 kilometers for Yildirim Wine and 2. The short-range ballistic missile Tayfun, developed by Roketsan, represents another Turkish advancement in this field, with an effective range of 280 kilometers and a maximum range of 800 kilometers, carrying a 500 kilograms warhead. Plans exist to extend its range to 1,000 kilometers. In southern Iran, the Royal Saudi Strategic Missile Force, 
RSSMF, a branch of the armed forces, is responsible for operating long-range missiles. Saudi Arabia's ballistic missile program began in the 1980s in response to the increasing use of missiles in the region, especially during the Iran-Iraq war. In this program, the DF-3 missile, purchased from China in the 1980s, is considered Saudi Arabia's main strategic missile. This medium-range ballistic missile has a maximum range of 4,000 kilometers and a high-explosive conventional warhead weighing 2,150 kilograms. Other sources report different ranges, including 3,000 kilometers and 2,500 kilometers. Further reports in 2014 indicated that Saudi Arabia secretly purchased a number of DF-21 medium-range ballistic missiles from China in 2007. With a range of about 1,700 kilometers, the DF-21 is more accurate than the DF-3. It uses solid fuel, reducing the time needed for launch preparation. Since 2020, expanded military cooperation with China reflects Saudi Arabia's serious intent in this area. On another front, Israel's air-launched ballistic missiles used in Operation Outside the Box represent a different dimension of threats. Interestingly, the deployment of the tactical Sayyid in Fars province happened immediately after these tensions. These conditions clearly illustrate Iran's exposure to a diverse range of ballistic missile threats. These threats span from short-range capabilities possessed by countries like Turkey and the UAE to Israel and Saudi Arabia's medium-range missile arsenals. Within Iran's defense strategy, countering medium- and long-range ballistic threats is a strategic and high-tech endeavor, mainly the responsibility of the IRGC Aerospace Force, which naturally requires more time for research, development, and operational maturity. However, short-range ballistic threats pose a more immediate and widespread challenge due to their tactical use against border or near-border targets. To address this operational need, the Army Air Defense Force and the Ministry of Defense have prioritized the development and deployment of two key systems, Bavar 373 and Armin. A review of the characteristics of these two systems reveals a layered and complementary defense strategy. The Armin system, equipped with Sayyad 3F missiles, is designed for rapid deployment and high mobility. This feature distinguishes it from the heavier Bavar 373 system and plays a critical role in its survivability in high-risk operational areas near the borders. The shoot-and-scoot capability is vital for Armin in these zones. In contrast, Bavar 373, especially in its second generation with a declared engagement range of 300 kilometers, is a strategic air defense system capable of covering long ranges and high altitudes. Its technical specifications and structure make it more suitable for deployment in central regions, to protect vital infrastructure, population centers, and to establish strategic depth. Therefore, the deployment doctrine of these two systems appears to follow a logical division of labor. Bavar 373 provides a long-range strategic defense umbrella within the country's interior, while the mobile and responsive Armin forms the tactical defense layer near borders and potential front lines. This dual-layer approach highlights Iran's efforts to build an integrated air defense network tailored to the multifaceted nature of ballistic missile threats in the region. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive military insights. Thanks for being with us. See you in the next video.